Hello crafters, I'm Jan B and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator. Today I'm going to give you a sneak peek at some of the products that will be available in our new spring catalogue which goes live on 3rd of January 2018 and also some of the products that will be available from our celebration catalogue. Celebration starts on the same day that the spring catalogue goes live and goes on until 31st of March. If you're new to Celebration, what this is, it's three months where for every £45 or €60 Euros you spend, you can choose a free gift from the catalogue. Stamping Up are doing something a little bit different this year and there are two gifts in the Celebration catalogue which are valued at £90. So if your order comes to at 90 pounds rather or 120 euros you can choose one of the more expensively priced gifts and it is for every 45 pounds or every 90 pounds you spend so for example if your order was for 90 pounds you could choose two gifts at 45 pounds or one gift at 90 pounds likewise if your order was 135 pounds sorry I forgot to check the euro figure on that one um, £135 you could choose one £45 gift and one £90 gift which must be €180 Euros, I believe um, or if your order was £180 you could choose one £90 gift and two £45 gifts or two ninety. pounds or for £45. You can mix and match whatever you like. Now I'm not allowed to show you the insides of these catalogues. I am allowed to show you the front covers and I can show you the products that I have. Um, I'm not actually going to be working with these products until the last week or two in December um, because it's Christmas and because I don't want to start showing you things that you could be making six seven weeks away from now um, but I think you'd quite like to see what is going to be available for you uh, but then my videos will be going back to doing Christmas videos right what I'm doing I've got my catalogue open by the side of me so that you can't see it but I can um, and I'm going to follow it through page by page I hope that I'm really very well organized for this right so the first set that I come to is called picture perfect birthday which is this stamp set and this one I've marked the stamp sets with this star if it's one that I was I received as a free gift at the on stage convention last weekend and this was one of them in fact I think this might have been the one that was in the um, our tote bag that we received on check-in um, but this is good uh, it's got so many little different bits and pieces um, it's also got some two-step stamping for example like those two bits there and also this which my first reaction was in fact let me just bring you back down a bit first get you a closer look there we go um, when I first saw that bit I've got a bit of tape on there so ignore that um, I thought that was a, a film from a camera. I took about aging myself here, um, but it's not. If you put it with that, it's one of those blowy things where the bit comes out at the end. I don't know what you call it, but it's one of those. But that can also be used for a candle. Um, as always, stamping up have come out with some really ingenious ideas. So that's picture perfect birthday. Um, the next one I have is Picnic with you and this one actually comes with a set of dies which I don't have because I was given the stamp set while we were there um, but the dies you can die cut the basket and the handles so that you can fit the handles on the basket like that or you could have the bas the handles going up over and then you've got like a little tablecloth which you could have as a napkin coming down from here um, let me just have a quick peek 
otherwise there's oh there's also one um die in there which you can do a, um, like a long strand of grass or different sort of length which is a really nice one but lots of these have got dies to go with them um, and this is how I have started marking my um, stamp sets so that I know when I pick this one up I know there's going to be some dies to go with it so that's that one and then I'm moving on to the opposite page and this is a bundle and the stamp set is called Let the Good Times Roll and you can make a roller coaster out of this. Um, the die set is a pop-up die set. In fact, I'm getting a bit too much shine here, aren't I? Where's my little tray? Uh, if, oh, there it is. Let me just prop things up on here. So hopefully I can get rid of the... Oh, that's better. Right, OK. Now, this die here, it creates a pop-up card. So you open up the card and this will come up. And what happens is it will fold just underneath those lines and it, it will fold backwards and it will fold forwards on that one there and then backwards there, forwards on that one. And that is the track... And these are two little, um, like, carriages, if you like. Um, there is a little, like, ice cream vendor, um, which is on wheels. I imagine you could put that on here, although there aren't any photographs of it in the catalogue. Um, but you get the banners. Uh, you could have uh, bunting like that. That's the sun. Two clouds. That's a little gift, that one there. You've got a die for the balloon. And that is for the little flowery bits there. Now with this one here, if you stamp that bit, you can die cut it and just cut that bit down there. So the actual dies, this is what you get. Okay, so these are the flags. These are the pennants for the um, bunting. The little trucks, the ice cream vendor, flowers, clouds and sun, and the balloon, and the prezi. Um, but this is the die for the pop-up. Okay, so if you want to use just this bit here, you just cut it from above the straight line, uh, below the straight lines. Yeah, below the straight lines. So there you go. That's a brilliant set, that one. So the next one I have is on page oh, 13 and 14. Right, this one I have lots to it. I think I bought virtually everything in here. So, um, what should we? I'll start with the dies and the stamp set first, and then I'll show you all the other bits and pieces. Okay, so it's a two sets stamp set. Oops, and it's called Cake Soiree. Okay, so you've got a plain cake there, you could do any colour you like. Or you've got the patterned one. You could do that, they don't actually say that that's two steps stamping. But I don't see why not. If you did that a very pale colour, you could do that as a darker colour. I would have thought, well that's something for me to try. Um, and you've got the flowers. I like how they've done these, uh, the fonts on these sentiments. And the dies, now this is interesting because this is something, let me just clear myself a bit of a space here because I think this is going to look too jumbled for you. Okay, so bring this back. There we go. So this is for the actual cake. And this one is like a little tag with a fancy lacy bit there. This is another... Um, could be a cake, could be um, a plate or a table because that is the stand for the table and these are the flowers and the leaves and something Stamping Up are doing a lot lately which I think is a fabulous idea is they're giving us two dies the same so we could stamp two and die cut them at the same time I mean if you're doing something like um, this set you could very easily be doing a wedding or um, engagement or something like that and to be able to do two at the same time really is a big big help okay so first of all they're the two stamp sets 
and then this is what the dies cut out. Okay, so if you put the table under here, this does become a table, you could put the cake straight onto that if you wanted. And these are different embellishments that you can have and the dies, how the flowers come out. Okay, also with this set there are two masks for our embossing paste. And that is one. So these bits here you can emboss round the edges of your cakes. Okay, you've got fancy ones you could do it on your cake. These ones, you could do it top, bottom, middle, wherever you like them to go. You've got cake um, candles for the top of your cake. This is another decoration you can put round your cakes, and of course beautiful big flower there and also I love this I think that is just absolutely stunning it's a bit like um, one of our designer series paper and um, the one that comes in the pink and the blue with the gold on the reverse love that right I'm going to keep that handy for a moment so I put that one underneath because also in this set we are getting some uh, boxes you get a pack of 12 of these boxes and this is one of the projects that we did uh, one of the make and takes we did at on stage I did mine when I came home and this is what we made so this is the box that it makes I've used one of the designer series papers I've changed the one from the one that we had um, while we were away um, but we had the ribbon and we did the stamping um, and that's brilliant and the size of this, it's two by two here, and it's about four inches here. What they did, what Stamping Up did explain to us is that because this is two four two four, that is twelve inches. But obviously, going around the bends, it becomes a bit longer than twelve. So this doesn't quite match up. So you place your rib ribbon where you get the gap. Okay, I think it looks quite nice with this off to the side rather than just working out the centre of this. Um, it bails me out as well because it means that I don't have to worry about uh, trying to get straight lines in the, you know, evenly around. But that is great, really love that. So that's part of this set. Um, also in this set we have a dynamic embossing folder and this is... Uh, sequins. Let me see if you can see. Yes, you can. See, they are actually sequins on there, it's not just circles. And it's a dynamic die as well. So that's going to be fabulous. And I forgot to say why I was holding on to this one. And that is in the book, um, they have shown, Stamping Up have shown, I shouldn't keep saying they. Um, at one of the boxes with this I don't know whether it's been I, I assume it's been sponged actually um, not um, embossed although I do wonder I don't see why it couldn't be embossed um, again more things to be tried um, but it looks absolutely fabulous and we also have in this set two more embossing pastes this one is shimmery white which is absolutely stunning and this one is silver which is beautiful so with the other um, embossing paste we have we've got almost all options covered the only one that we don't have is gold but I'm sure we'll get that eventually sooner or later so that um, we also get as you saw on here ribbon and this is the same as our Berry Vanilla with the silver edging. It's satin ribbon, it's really beautiful. Lovely, isn't it? Goes well with my nails, look at that. <laughs> and also the Baker's Twine with the silver thread going through it. And the Designer Series Paper. Oh my goodness, this is absolutely superb. 
This is a specialty paper because one side of each sheet has silver in it. You see that? Okay, now I have sorted this out so I can just take one after the other. This is the back of that sheet there. Look at that. Isn't that stunning? Okay, in the back of that sheet it's this one. And this is quite a plain pattern, but it's got the silver in it. Isn't that gorgeous? And then this one. I like this colour combination. I, I can see me using all the sheets. This is the one where I've cut my piece off to do my box over there. Really love that. But it does mean that I used up some of my silver ones there. But that's very much like softly falling uh, the embossing folder. Because it's like that all the way around. Okay, and this one, beautiful. I'm trying to tilt it quite a long way so that you can see the normal colour and you can see the silver. And then that one, and this one. This one would be quite easy to die cut the flower, um, not die cut, freehand, fussy cut the flowers. And this is what's on the other side of it. Whoops. Isn't it gorgeous? Really, really stunning set of designer series paper there. Um, so what else have I got to show you? Uh, just one more item on here. And I haven't actually opened this right up. And this is an embellishment, Sweet Swarry embellishment kit. So I will just take out these bits to show you. So in here there's some little white pegs, beautiful tassels with the silver on the end, two in each. That I imagine is Calypso Coral, does it tell me? No, but paper will, but then that, well, not to worry, that's uh, Calypso Coral, I'm sure, a uh, white. Mm. I'm not sure quite what that one is. I don't want to say and then tell you wrong. A little bit of um, washi tape with a silver stripe on it. Beautiful ribbon. This is blue velvet. And it's scalloped. Isn't that lovely? One of the um, products that I don't have that is coming out, I don't know if it's with this set, yes it is with this set, um, there's going to be some, what they are calling, um, ready shreddy, and it's shredded paper, ready for, to put in boxes, um, you know you buy them as a box of, um, a bag of shredded tissue paper, I think ours is thicker than that. I don't know, but I think it is. And then we've also got these. We have numbers. Now the beauty of these is you can colour the top of the number and it will blend in with whatever colour you're working with. So you've got four of each of the numbers. You have these toppers. This one obviously you can colour yourself or you can leave it white if you're doing wedding cakes. And some these are more die cuts and these are on vellum. More die cuts. And these are stamp, uh, well it's silver embossed die cuts. So that's opening up lots of different things that we can do. Right, I'm not going to sit here and put all these bits away. Going to pop them up there and I'll do that later. So that's all of that set, and that was called the Sweet Soiree Suite. Right, so what page was that? That was uh, 12 and 13. So now we go on to page 15, and this is something else that's stamping up a really come on bundles with and it's their card kits 
Um, the last three sets I've bought I have absolutely loved. Now these are the cards that you can make from this kit and it's an all-inclusive so you only need to add scissors and glue. So I've got this arranged I think nicely so that I can show you the different cards that are inside are these ones and those are the envelopes to go with it. These cards to be folded in half and they go in these envelopes. Hexagon cards and you get four of each of these, sorry. Each size you get four and you've got the envelopes to go with them and also all the envelopes inside they've got the stripe. Okay so that's all of these the smaller ones and the tiny ones and then the normal A6 size cards with envelopes and with the bits inside but with these you get eight yes you get eight of this size so that's all of those you get four watercolour pencils um, two of them are not in our pack of water colour pencils and that is Lemon Lime Twist and Flirty Flamingo. The Old Olive and the Rich Razzleberry are in our box of watercolour pencils. Um, dimensionals and that is a little stamping spot of the Basic Black Archival Ink. You get a stamp set with it. Let me just move that over. You can generally see better with a plain background underneath. Okay, so you've got flowers. This one says, you deserve the best life has to offer. I'm always here for you. Thank you for being a friend. Here's to the happiest birthday yet and sending you lots and lots of happy. Okay, so it's a brilliant stamp set. You get a block that all the stamps will fit on, not at the same time, obviously. <laughs> um, there's some ribbon, and this is ombre ribbon in lemon lime twist, in as much as it starts off dark and gets lighter. Okay. And then these are all the um, embellishments that you get. I didn't quite work out what these four were for. Um, but I will find that out once I start working with it. And then you get these, four sheets of this one. No, five sheets. You have five sheets of that. And these are what you need to do things like the stamping on the back cutout, and different cutouts like this. And that's the card, the hexagon card. Okay, and then this is, these are sheets of vellum die cut leaves, and there's one, two, three, four pages of that. Now there's some tags, pa uh, pa tags or labels, uh, they're backgrounds, okay, there's the longer ones there. And the sizes of these, you get four of this size. Can you see that? And then you get four of this size as well. I hope you can. Yeah, I think so. Right, and then you get four of these as well. The black and white stripe. That's the theme that go No, six here. Because you've got these two, these two, and then you've got two thin ones here. I turn that over, you might be able to see that better. Yep. That's it. Okay, so you've got two sheets of that. And you've got these which you can colour, which is where your watercolour pencils come in. And there are one, two, three, four, four sheets of those. That obviously is where a sentiment goes. That beautiful. And then just these tags as well. 
Okay, there's four gold narrow ones and four wider gold ones. Okay, so that is really, really stunning. Right, I'm not going to sit here and put that away either. So that was 15. So page 9, uh, 7, 19. This is a stamp set and a die set. Now this one, um, this is called Sure Do Love You. Let's rest it for you so you can see it. And that's the die set. And this die set actually makes, I quickly did this before the video, okay, it makes this size box and in this set there will also be some narrow note cards and envelopes and they will fit into this box. What you do is you make two of these, cut two of these rather, and then you adhere them together one the right way up, one upside down. And the interesting thing that I didn't realise until after I'd made my box was with the die, that little die there, which is this one here, the cutting edge is just that little curve and it cuts that little lip there. So where you fold your lid over, it will clip just behind that as you can see with my sample, it does actually slide into the box and it slides in there quite comfortably. But if you've got that little cut there, that would just slide in really nicely. Um, as you can see, I did do it on there. Um, but initially it was just like that until I realised. Uh, but these are the dies. Um, I think this one... Let me just check up on my page, if, make sure I'm doing... Uh, no, this isn't the one, it's another one further on. Um, so this is a bundle. Um, do check when you're looking in the catalogue, when you do receive it, to check to see if there is a bundle, because you will save 10% if you order both the dies and the stamps at the same time. So on the next one, it looks like this is the one I was going to say. Yes, it is. We even marked it. Right, this stamp set, all these hearts, another one that I received at on stage. These hearts all fit the sweet and sassy. In fact, I don't think that one will, will it? Yes, it does. So, oh, of course, because there's two sets in sweet and sassy um, framelits, aren't there? So that's beautiful. So what else does it die cut? It is just these, isn't it? Yes, it is. But that's nice. As far as I remember, I think this is probably the first stamp set that goes with Sweet and Sassy. Um, I'm not sure. Right, now that was... That one. Oh, the next one. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's another one that's got quite a lot to it and it's called Petal Passion Sweet. Now first of all the stamp set and the dies. Now this is another one that I got at on stage. Um, I don't normally choose uh, the wood blocks but the advantage of wood blocks is you can actually make. Um, I use a stamp and jig quite a lot, as you know. Um, but you can actually make your individual um, bits of acetate and leave them in here. You don't have to keep setting it up on the plastic that um, comes with the stamp and jig, which is to me the plus about um, wooden sets. Um, but as you can see, this is another two set stamp set and it's got some nice everyday um, sentiments on it thank you best wishes congratulations and it's got some not quite everydayish now the stamp uh, the dies you get all of these and these die cut out so you've got the bird 
you've got that one, which is this, that belongs to that one, you've got these as extras, oh, that belongs to that one there, and this will obviously fit the sentiments, these ones here. So that really is a brilliant set and I love this, really, really love this. I could see this being a very, very popular set. Now, we had a project, a Make and Take, which I didn't actually do, but this is one of the papers from the Designer Series paper set. I'll show you this in a minute. And what we had to do was actually colour some of the flowers. And I thought that was brilliant, love that. But I prefer um, to use marker pens. That was using a blender pen and the ink, but I'd rather have the marker pen because it would come up a lot deeper, a lot darker. But this is a project that we were working on. That's nice, isn't it? Really like that. So that's that. So let me just show you the designer series paper. Now, I've done exactly the same. I've got each sheet set up so that this one is the reverse of this one. Okay, it's all black and white. This is very similar to one of those at Christmas. But this one you could colour in totally. And then this one, another one that could be coloured. That's nice, I like that. In fact, I like all of this set. You could colour these in, you could colour the outline in green. Not sure I'd have the patience for that. But the other thing I wanted to say about this set is it is um, it has been designed with a water wash effect, which you will get the light and dark like this. I know some people don't like it, um, but just to warn you beforehand that this is perfectly okay. It's not a fault. Okay, I've done that one. And this, look, it's just like that um, masking, uh, mask, same design. And then this is what's on the other side of it. And this is the one we were using where we were colouring flowers. And on the other side of that is the stripes. So again, another fabulous set of designer series paper. Um, also in this set there are two embossing folders and again that design and there's one with the flowers on it as well. So they're beautiful, looking forward to working with those. And we have ribbon here. Look at that. So you could have this in any of the stamping up colours that you have a marker pen or you could use ink on it or you could use the alcohol marker pens, just colour it whichever colour you want. I really love that. Um, I th oh no, the last one on this set are some embellishments. And in here you get 24, there we go, and there's two of each. There's a little pearl inside in the middle of that one. Again, a lot of bits that are um, this kind of hollow leafy design. So we're be going to be able to mix and match so much from this catalogue. Okay, so that's that one. Oops. Um, right, so done all of that. So the next page is, I think I am leaping up to this one. And this is called Tutti Frutti. Uh, yes, Tutti Frutti Sweet. And look at this. Self-adhesive, um, oops, self-adhesive sequins. What a brilliant idea. 
I don't normally use sequins because I don't like chasing them around and I find them a bit of a nuisance trying to glue them down but these have got their own glue dots on isn't that brilliant so that's those I've jumped the gun here a bit let's go to the stamp set first it's called fruit basket and um, one of the things we found um, at on stage somebody was demonstrating this set and she said with the four punches which are these pineapple strawberry pear and like watermelon or whatever I hope you can see all of those one by one um, when you stamp the designs on all of these if you punch them out the punched shape is smaller than the stamped shape so where you punch it out you'll be the outside of that will be left on your cardstock okay it's a bit like the um, I think it was a butterfly wasn't it the small butterfly um, that was smaller than the actual punch um, it means that when you punch it out you won't get that white line all the way around um, in this set also we have beautiful ribbon and this is lemon lime twist That's beautiful, really like that one. Um, and we've also got some stamping spots. Now these are going to be absolutely fabulous um, when we get our hands onto the Stamposaurus, no, Stamparatus. Because if you've got any little stamps that you're setting up, um, it's much easier to use a small um, stamping spot rather than one of our big pads and from that point of view you may want to if you're going to get the Stamparatus you may want to in advance buy some of our um, uninked stamping spots because that way you can do them whatever colour you like if you've got the ink refills so that's a good idea the colours here are Lemon Lime Twist, Daffodil Delight, Real Red and Soft Suede okay so there's those and then at that I'll show you the designer series paper that comes with that and this is 6x6 okay so you've got that and on the reverse it's that then you have the watermelon and on the reverse I like that kiwi or kiwi fruit rather and again black and white stripe and watermelon I've probably got one of those wrong but that's fine and that's nice general sort of design and these are raspberries and on the reverse there's the bobbly design and we have pineapples one of my favourite colours crumb cake that they go together so well look at that and then the bobbly design multicoloured and that's what's on reverse and then we have apples and pears I'm not sure that those two actually go together I'm not sure that I would put them together and then we got orange lemons and limes and that's like the other one that I said that I liked so that blends in nicely and I'm not sure what fruit this is and then black random dots or but, uh, more like seeds actually that's what that's meant to be there we go that goes together all right okay another general design quite like this as well bananas and the 
yellow. Right, so that's that set. And just two more stamp sets left from the spring catalogue. This one I also received at on stage and this is called Flying Home. This one I can see being used as some really nice fun um, cards. It's the kind of thing that I would use. Well, this obviously new home. That could be new baby actually. I was going to say thank you. Um, but new home again. I love the little birds and the uh, butterflies and bee. So that's a nice set. So that's available in red rubber or um, wood mount. And then this one is three step stamping. Um, you do the outline first, then this one, and then this. Um, nice lots of sayings there, and a little background stamp there as well. I'm looking forward to using this one. I do like the three step stamping. Two step, three step, and four step. I think it's one of those things that stamping up do really well with. Now I'm going to show you what I have with the Celebration products. And let me just reach over to get these. Now these aren't in any particular order. So I'm going to show you three of the stamp sets, first of all. This one is the Peacocks and it's called Beautiful Peacock. And this was demonstrated at on stage. And this peacock fits into here, so these are his feathers. And then you can use that or that coming down as his tail, his tail feathers down that. If you wanted him, as just do that with his tail as a without the, all of this. That was really beautiful. And also the lady who was demonstrating it showed how you can use that stamp which is just the dots on here and it all fits in or was it on that one um don't remember now might have been that no it's that one because it's next to each other i'm sure anyway whichever if you test it on scrap paper first so that uh, you don't mess up your um cardstock but it's one or the other and she made a beautiful job of it really lovely Okay, so that's one of the stamp sets. This is my favourite stamp set. It's the pandas. Aren't they just gorgeous? I really, really love this. That one would be great for Valentine's as well. Love that. And love you. Really beautiful. And that's a clear mount stamp. The other one... Oh, the, yes, it must be uh, photopolymer to be able to line it all up. And this one I really like. Um, this was featured on one of the card kit, wasn't it? I think something similar to this. I can just about reach over and get this. Um, there we go, that's what I'm thinking of. It's quite similar, isn't it? Well, that one's more like that. So there are lots and lots of things that do mix and match here. Okay, so that's called lots of lavender. Um, and this is two-step stamping because you can use that to colour all of this. The leaves will colour those leaves. Likewise for that and that. The bow will colour that and that will colour the stems down there. And then these, that will do the main flower. That will do those leaves, and then that will do those. I also suspect that those two will probably do those two as well, and that will do those leaves. So really, really brilliant stamp set, that one. And then there is a set of cards and envelopes, and that is this. Um, you get four of each of the envelopes. OK, 
okay like that and then on the inside you got coordinating colors and patterns and then you have four cards of each with the same pattern on okay so that's one um, gift from celebration and then there's a set of designer series paper now there's going to be a stamp set that will coordinate with bottles so let me show you the papers in this collection now these are all bubbles more bottles hexagons like um, honeycomb multicolored bubbles hearts bottle tops stripes with speckles on I don't know if you can see that from far away let me bring it towards you Yeah, you can just about see that, can't you? I think it's quite random, the pattern on there. Now this one, these are bottles. I don't know if you can see that from there. Uh, bottles up the right way, upside down, and likewise laying down, facing that way and facing that way. Okay, and then there's this. I like this pattern multi stripes and again that's got little dots on it as well uh, can you see any I can't see them on the screen but you must be able to I'm sure yes I can see some right at the top there I can see those and this is nice I like this one too that's on the back of that stripey one so there's that now the last thing I'm going to show you is um, one of the celebration stamp sets and this one is one that is a £90 stamp set okay so you can only choose that one if your order comes to £90 lots and lots of sayings on here and I love how it's got this here so you've got happy birthday wishing you a wishing you a happy birthday best friends best birthday you make me so happy happy anniversary it's just so versatile really really so versatile and you can add some colour to it by colouring flowers ok so that is a £90 um, free gift there is one other £90 free gift and that is um, a set of dies so that is they are all the items that I have from Celebration and the new spring catalogue. As I say, I'm not going to be working with any of this um, until the end of um, September. I will automatically send out copies of these to my customers. If you would like copies of these and you don't already have a uh, stamping up demonstrator of your own and you live in um, the UK, Netherlands, France, Austria or Germany then I'm quite happy to send you catalogues too because I can sell um, to your countries as well and I will have them in uh, French and German as well as English. So many thanks for joining me today I hope you've enjoyed this um, and I will see you next time. In the meantime, happy crafting. Cheerio.